Yo, what's up everybody? Carl with Keeping It Real Fishing. Um, I'd like to show you a few uh, new baits that I just picked up for the uh, 2012 season. Um, I'm going to take a look here at a, a couple of these uh, swim baits. Maybe you heard of these guys. Matt Lures, right? So, um, part of Keeping It Real Fishing, uh, my philosophy for this webpage is going to be just that, Keeping It Real. And I'm going to start right off because this is one of the things that's really on my mind is, man, the expensive bait market is just flourishing. This Matt Lores Bluegill was $18. I saw a review on Tackle Tour. They really liked it and I was blown away by their pictures of how realistic it looks. It really looks, it looks, it, it's funny too because the packaging doesn't know justice. It looks like crap in this packaging. Just the reflection and kind of looks hokey. I know they're kind of like an underground company, but um, they could do better to, to make this more appealing. But uh, really shines when you take it out. Now that eye is looking black. I'm, I'm tilting it to get a little red there for you, but let's take a close look at that, this thing. It even feels alive. It's kind of crazy. So this is a U2 bluegill, the Matt, Yor Matt Lures U2, right. male gill, U2 swimming. So it's got this, um, you know, one of those tails back there. It's got the pissed off look, of course. The big single hook up top. I mean, it's a real looking bait, man. Really soft and pliable. Well, look at that thing from the top, man. You can just see it like swim by, you know. Interesting point of this bait. If you smell it, you're going to get high because this thing smells like some kind of crazy concentrated glue. It smells like straight up paint thinner. And I just, I almost, get one of these things, smell it, and then first thing you're going to think to yourself is, how the hell would a fish bite that? I mean, even a couple inches from your nose, it like it, it takes the air out of the air. It's freaking powerful, man. So, I guess the whole idea with fish attractants out the window on this one, they just figure it looks so real. So, you know, it definitely looks real, but it's just like, you know, it's coming up on $20, and, and this is not even like, you know, there's a hell of a lot more expensive baits than this. And it's one of the things that I kind of have issue with, is how expensive baits are getting how they're becoming so prevalent and kinda of like this idea that is slowly creeping up I see more and more YouTube videos, kids, adults, everybody how you have to have like you know people aren't blinking anymore at spending you know ten fifteen dollars on a lure There's a lot of companies now the underground ones were able to do it you know they had to justify the fact that it was smaller production but now you got it on some of the big name brands so check this out this doesn't look quite as real but um this is the other one I want to show you in this video. Just got this from Cabela's, uh, Pennsylvania. I think these things rock for the price. I just happened to see them there, kind of on the bottom of one of the shelves. Um, Live Forge, these things are $3, $3.29. They kind of got this um, reflective foil thing going on in the middle there. You see that? I like that. I think that's kind of useful. Same thing with the boot tail. You know, it's got the swimming tail. Smaller than the uh, the mat lures. Put them side by side so you can see them here. Oops. Yeah. Smaller bait. Not that small though. Definitely a different look. You know, different color pattern here and going and stuff. But, um, man, this thing is three dollars. And, uh, let me see. Come on, focus, baby. There we go. Still good detail, man. Look at that thing. If you're like a detail freak, still got the pissed off look. You know, these fins. It's interesting because this treble hook here comes lodged like that. Like the one treble is up inside. Almost like it doesn't flow quite as freely and is, I guess, a little less uh, likely to get picked up or hung up on something. So anyway, I just wanted to show you these. I think these are a really good buy. They're a little over $3. They look pretty awesome to me. I'm really excited to use them. And if I lose one of these at $3, no big deal, right? Um, I'm almost afraid to cast this into the water. One, because it looks so damn good. Um, 
but two is because it's an $18 lure. And so, or not even losing it, but once this gets chewed up, it's just like, you've committed to the fact that if you're going to use the thing, it's going to get chewed up. You know, this little guy gets chewed up, you know, whatever, no big deal. So, it's Carl with Keeping It Real Fishing. I'm trying to keep it real. And uh, this is just a couple of the uh, new swim baits I got for 2012 and a few thoughts on them. All right, thanks.